what they're going to do today, Dr. Schulte is going to share the results um, that they have had over the years, and then they're going to specifically dig down a little bit into one of the tactics of leader rounding. So thank you all for being here. Thank you, Janet. Oh, yeah, this all set up already. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Oh, you're lagging a little bit. <laughs> Come on. Good afternoon. If I were to tell you about a process to raise student achievement, would you be interested? Yes. <laughs> Patty, I knew, I knew you would say that. And I loved your question because you said you keep asking about what about student achievement? Well, we thought we were an excellent school district, as a matter of fact. But as we dug in and we learned about this, the evidence-based leadership process, uh, we learned some things about ourselves, and we'll, we'll tell you a little bit about that story. We are talking about rounding today, and rounding is one of the tools of evidence-based leadership. And I believe you need all the tools to raise student achievement, but we'll talk about this one particular one that we think is is very important. I will be sharing our, some of our metrics. And I'm going to start by sharing some of our test scores from 2009, so a couple of years ago. I, I went year by year by year by year. And it was very interesting to look at our process over all those years. And if you'd walk into my office, you will see I had them posted now on the wall. Because what I saw and what Quint really pointed out to us way back when is as we look at Janesville compared to, these are all the other school districts in our county. And we were, you know, we were kind of curious. How are we doing? We didn't know. And then we also added in a couple of other districts that we typically compare to, Verona, Sun Prairie, and Madison. And this is what we found, that we were in the middle. We're a little bit above the state average, but we were in the middle. And if you saw all my charts, sometimes we trended down to the lower third. And so we thought we were excellent, but we were really kind of average. And as we looked at this, those of you that are in Wisconsin, this will resonate with you, but I said to, to Quint and some others, Milton will never, we will never outscore Milton. They're a little tiny school district to the north of us and people say, people, kids, leave our district to go to Milton. And um, we also know Milton kids come to Janesville as well. But that would be a hard act to follow. So I didn't really think that we could ever outscore someplace like a Milton. That's reading. How did we look in math? Actually, we looked quite the same. Back in 2009, we were in the middle. A hair above the state average. And also, if you looked at all our math scores, you would see that sometimes we trended a little bit down to the lower third. So, so that's what we <coughs> have to deal with. So the first thing is, these are our test scores from our last testing period, which was November 2012. And you can see, we used to be down here, and now Janesville is third from the top. So we're ranking two. Ranking third. Woo. But thank you. Yeah, this is great. Yes, but here's the best news for me. We outscored every school district in Rock County, in our county. So we're very proud of that. The other two school districts are in a different county in Dane County. So we're trending up. And I don't know if you're wondering why the scores are different or if you can e even see those, but the state made a change in how they score our tests. So here's the next thing. So math, how are we doing in math? It's the same thing. Third from the top in math. Yes, we did outscore Milton. And we also outscored every school district in our um, county. And Janesville is very different demographically than some of our other school districts. So we're very proud of that fact. But it gets better. We, this year, our state gave us an accountability score. We really weren't totally sure how that was going to look. It was the first statewide <coughs> accountability score where we could compare with other school districts. We got our individual scores last year, and we figured out what we 
thought we were at. But this was the first time we got our, our uh, statewide score. And so we were very excited when we put the numbers out and compare Janesville to these other school districts where Janesville fell. There we are, folks. We're number one. So very excited. <laughs> and we were on a roll. Oh, we decided, well, I wonder where we fall with the largest school districts in the state of Wisconsin. So we looked at the 15 largest school districts in the state, and guess where Janesville fell? Oh. We're number one. Isn't that fun? All that hard work. <laughs> it really does pay off. And it's not about the score. I don't want you to think that for a minute. It's about what we do for kids. Because we're all in there about kids. Some of those kids are our own children or our grandchildren. And we want them to have the best education in the world. And so that's why we do all this hard work.